So I tend to think of Capitol Hill as the center of Seattle's gay culture, but um, not too long ago, Pioneer Square was actually the hub for the LGBT community yeah, in the city. Yeah, I, I had heard that Pioneer Square was actually one of the most gay-friendly areas in, on the entire West Coast. Really? Um, basically because of its great nightlife, uh -huh. but also this awesome, unforgettable place called Shelley's Lake. Hmm, cool. So Shelley's Lake got its name from the left leg of a co-owner, Shelley Bauman who lost her leg following a freak accident on Bastille Day in 1970, near here, Pioneer Square in Occidental Park. Yeah, and I also read that um, because of this accident, she was confined to a wheelchair for the rest of her life. Whoa. But she also won something like uh, $300,000, a portion of which she and her business partner, a guy called Pete Nesser, used to open the bar. Oh, cool. About like three years later. So, here we are. We're on the, uh, the corner of Main Street in Alaska, underneath a very noisy Alaska Way Viaduct. Right. And it's, it's uh, in this building where, in 1973, Shelly's Leg opened. Wasn't Shelly's Leg like the first disco? Yeah, it, it wasn't by any means the first place to dance in Seattle, but it was the first place where dancing and a live DJ, rather than just drinking in a duke box, were the main sources of entertainment for the night. Right. Cool. Now when Shelley's Leg opened, Pioneer Square already had a substantial gay-focused social scene. But what made Shelley's Leg different, as you can probably tell by this sign behind me, is that the disco not only catered to gay clientele, but also actively welcomed people of all sexual orientation. And this was a relatively revolutionary message for the time. On one hand, this sign promoted a public and friendly space where gays and lesbians could socialize openly with their straight friends. On the other hand, it invited straights to take part in gay culture, to familiarize themselves with a segment of society that was too often driven underground. For a number of years, Shelley's Leg was the hottest club in town, with lines wrapping around the block just to get in. But interest began to decline following a massive fire in 1975 that was caused when a tanker truck overturned on the Alaska Way viaduct right above. By the end of the 1970s, the disco era was dying and Shelley's Leg had closed. About the same time that Shelley's Leg closed, the disco's former manager, Ken Decker, opened up a new gay disco named The Brass Door here on Harvard and Pike. It was part of a gradual but significant migration of gay culture from Pioneer Square up to Capitol Hill.